So you found him already? You found his location? But you didn't find him? Well, when are you actually going to find him? How soon? Okay, just... Just find him and kill him! Can you do that? Okay, bye. Oh yeah, there. Uh, they found Mr. Nobody's hideout, but for some reason, Mr. Nobody is in there. So they're still gonna look for him. So in the meantime, hello everyone, so I'm Bart here, and welcome to another movie review. After Cars, Pixar has been making more success in the next four years. With Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Up, and Toy Story 3. But then in 2011, a sequel came out to a movie that most people liked, but now this one, everyone hates. Cars 2. Lightning McQueen and Mater head for the World Grand Prix to compete against a Ferrari named Francesco Bernoulli. But Mater accidentally becomes a spy as he and two other spies named Finn McMissile and Holly Shithwell go undercover to unveil an alternative fuel scheme. So what do you think about this movie? Well, to be a hundred percent honest, I actually enjoyed this film. Hold it! Let me explain. I enjoyed this film for three reasons. First, is that there's more action and racing scenes than in the last one. And being a spy movie, it makes it all the more fun to watch, with the film's many visuals and fast pace. Second, is the fun moments that occur during the film. Like there are a few references to other Pixar films such as The Jungle from Up and The Restaurant from Ratatouille. As well as figuring out the mystery, to which, in my opinion, is not as complicated as it sounds. So what if the alternative fuel plot is complex? I mean, many of Pixar's stories are complicated, but not to the point of being confusing, but to being entertaining. And third is for Mater. Yes, he started off as a side character in the first film, but here he's given more of a development and is more of a main character. He has plenty of fun moments, and what happens at the end is really funny. Just based on how sudden it comes out. There are a few new characters, some returning characters, and they all have good actors supplying the voices. Larry the Cable Guy voices Mater, Owen Wilson voices Lightning McQueen, Michael Caine voices Finn McMissile, Emily Mortimer voices Holly Shitwell, Eddie Izzard voices Sir Miles Axelrod, John Totoro voices Francisco Bernoulli, Thomas Crutcherman voices Professor Z, Bonnie Hunt voices Sally, Tony Shalhoub voices Luigi. Jennifer Lewis voices Flo. Cheap Marin voices Ramon. And John Ratzenberger voices Mac. As a whole, this movie is loads of fun. The characters are fun, the story is good, and the animation is really enjoyable. Directors John Lasseter and Brad Lewis have made a movie that's a big improvement from the last film, with more action and racing, really fun moments, and having made her take center stage are all what makes it a fun and enjoyable ride. So today, this movie will be given a rating of three stars. Thank you for joining me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And tune in next Wednesday for a new video. So today, this movie will be given a rating of four, not, not three stars. <laughs>